Well, we got another package. All right, let's check it out. Doggy doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Coleman's Surplus. Feel free to check them out. Large variety of items. Coleman's Surplus. Let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Thank you. And these all came from Coleman's Military Surplus. Feel free to check them out. Large variety of items. Coleman's Military Surplus. And if we just go right down the manifest, we see here we should have suspenders, GI pistol belt. So what this is are just the suspenders. Looks like we have these tied off with some string. And we almost got this free here. Not really going to see how long these actually are. Okay, and we got the markings. So suspenders, trousers. And again, you can see how these will hook on to the belt ends. And kind of loop over the shoulders. And then it comes to a single, probably behind the back location as well. See how these are all spread out like that. So, suspender GI pistol belt. And we jump over to this item here Swiss Army peaked cap. I'm not sure what size these were. Let's see if they mark them on the inside. 59. So, you can see here they are the maiden. Con, uh, confezione, so Italian, I believe. We do have a little bit of a lanyard loop here. Very interesting. No cap emblem, so you can customize it how you want. Vent holes, the brim area, as well as the brow area of the headband reinforced peak and the profile so swiss army peaked cap set that aside right there next up vintage british military cotton web belt so that's what i was looking at in the first portion here so you can see here it's a single hole as opposed to a three hole style across the width of the belt. You see here very faint, but once you pull them up, the perforations for Alice clips, metal ends, it's going to reach for a magnet here. Non-magnetic, so they might be some other type of brass, possibly alloy. These are not magnetic either, which is very interesting. So, non-magnetic, very hard type of metal, so I'm not sure what's going on there, what type of alloy these are. You can hear the very bright tone of the sound as well. See if there's any other markings on these. You can notice the suspension points at the back, as well as these keepers here. For the actual cinching. Interesting. I have to figure that out some point but what we have here is a British military cotton web belt vintage set that next to the GI suspenders 
Uh, we're going to skip down to this item here. Pistol belt USGI PVC clasp large unused. See there are the US markings. Do a magnet test on these fittings. Non-magnetic. Plastic, of course, there. But these are also non-magnetic as the other belt we just looked at. Okay, so these are definitely magnetic. But just these tension buckles here. Interesting. This other stuff is some sort of alloy. Okay, so what is on the markings there? Okay, see the manufacturer's markings. Waist over 30 inches. And this is a size large, so given the expansion space. So pistol belt USGI PVC clasp large. See that there. And a little bit stiff. But pretty easy to get out. And the last item in bag here USGI Ontario Special Purpose Axe with Sheath ACU Digital. So basically a spax. You have a label. You can see here digital camo. UCP snap buckle. Molly on the back. Notice the multiple Molly straps. So we've got different attachment areas. Looks like we got our drainage grommet there. And we also have these tension snaps to hold the tool in. And then the last one up here which should release the tool like so. Ontario, USA, and markings there. So the surface, blade edge. Feel free to research the various models of SPAX. They do come with different sheaths, different metal compositions as well, depending on purpose. You can see here the uh, cutout uh, in a convenient five-sided uh, shape. I'll let you figure out what sort of water uh, devices use this type of valve closure system this can be used for. So again, in Ontario... Special Purpose Axe or Spax, and this came with the Molly in ACU style universal camouflage pattern. Continuing to work our way backwards. Oh, this also came with a strap. Nice. Working our way backwards, we had the pistol belt USGI PVC clasp, large, unused. This will have, you know, right here, Swiss Army Peaked Cap. See the profile. This one also had a braid, a lanyard. Jumping here to the Vintage British Military Cotton Web Belt. And we had started off with the Suspender GI Pistol Belt. These all came from Coleman's Military Surplus. Feel free to check them out. Large variety of items. Coleman's Military Surplus. This has been another unboxing video. Feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel. We also do 
show and tell videos on vintage milk syrup tools and expanded topics. We supposed to do a selection of book review, media reviews, and a series called Curios for the Curious. We do some more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.